I made it. I'm up. You did it. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is sick. You're on your own, buddy. Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm Stefan. And today we have a really fun build journey. This time it's around the C-47 and the Waco GL-4. That's right. Now these two planes were really iconic during World War II. They were workhorses in so many different ways and really ahead of its time in how they were used. Along with that, there were some crazy missions and crazy things that both these planes did that we want to recreate it in a similar fashion to what we did with our ME-262 and our P-51 Mustang. So our plan is pretty simple today here. My friend Stefan has never gotten a chance behind the simulator chair. I haven't gotten to do a glider tow in a long time. We thought we'd combine all this together. I'm gonna tow Stefan up and he's gonna do the first FPV simulator chair glider launch with a Waco. With a Waco. <laughs> in order to get this challenge complete, we need to design this Waco glider and get this built so we can see how it glides as soon as possible. That sounds like fun. It's gonna be epic. Can't wait to try it. We all work to do. All right, so typically whenever we build something, we do a glide test before we put the motor on. Ironically, this is a glider. We're not gonna need to put a motor on, but I do have a very simple form. And if you guys are ever designing a home, don't try to get it finished off and perfect. Just find it, a general form, get it built, get the controls moving, and throw it as quickly as possible. Once you learn how it flies, you can make those adjustments while you refine the looks at the same time. It saves you a ton of time in developing and also a lot of frustration later. So I got my CG right about 25% on this glider. All right, so Mike's gonna go down below. We're gonna see if he can, uh, he can catch it or if I can fly over his head. You ready, Mike? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> run, Mikey, run! <laughs> we got a winner. All right, next step, I'm gonna take this home tonight. I'm gonna finalize it. I'm gonna go ahead and make it look nicer, get the fits all adjusted, and then I'm gonna also add ailerons and a tow release to it, so that way we can start painting it. Ultimately, we're gonna make the C-47 tow this up. All right, so while the guys are messing around with this crazy project out there, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor of this episode, and that is our friends over at Raycon. So Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by providing premium wireless earbuds for about half the price of other premium wireless audio out there in the market. Raycon also offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns with a variety of fit options, which is great because not everybody has the same size ear canals. And also, there's no dangling wires or stems which get in your way when you're running, when you're working out, when you're doing work from home, etc. Now the company Raycon was co-founded by a guy named Ray J, who's a big mogul in the R&B industry. On top of that, we obviously love Raycon earbuds, we use them all the time, but also celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Melissa Etheridge, uh, even Mike Tyson love the earbuds and use them as often as they possibly can. On top of all of that, one of the things that I love most about the Raycon brand and the earbuds is that there's a 45 day return policy, so you can literally Buy your E25s, put them in your ear, try them out, and if you don't love them or aren't obsessed with them, you can literally return them at no cost to you. Now let's talk a quick second about the features of these Raycon earbuds. Raycon earbuds give you six hours, yeah, six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, which is something that I personally enjoy, and a more compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. Now last but not least, I've been wearing these earbuds for quite a bit of time now, probably the last year, year and a half, I get more things done when I put them in there and I can focus. But also, when I'm doing leisure things, so like running, enjoying a workout, get my workout done, and I can move on with the rest of my day. Now here's where you guys come in. If you guys want premium wireless audio in your ears ASAP, check the link in the description below, click our link, go to buyraycon.com slash flight test, and you're gonna get 15% off of your order of your Raycons. Now again, click that link in our description below. It helps us out a ton, and you're gonna get 15% off your Raycon order. Now, huge shout out again to Raycon for making all this content possible. We wouldn't be here without our awesome sponsors like Raycon, and also to you guys for watching the content. We love being able to make awesome free content for you guys, and we appreciate the viewership so much, so thank you. Now, I gotta go back and check on these guys to see how this crazy project is coming. Let's go.
All right, so the guys are making great progress on this airplane. Next step is we gotta go and put an awesome paint job on it. And then on top of that, we gotta throw some sweet FPV on it, and then we're ready to go fly. All right, so if you guys are new to flight test here, this is what we affectionately call our FPV chair. Yes. And what we do is we put goggles on and we fly our aircraft just like a real pilot would uh, using the control systems that they would. Yes. For the glider here, Stefan's gonna be trying the FPV chair out for the first time along with the goggles. I mean, you've never yes. even flown this. No, I've never flown this. I've never flown with this awesome FPV simulator chair. Uh, I'm super stoked and I think you need to give me a little tutorial what's going on yeah. here. <laughs> well, basically we don't have a motor, but what the throttle can also be is our release lever. And okay. this is for good reason here. So when Stefan is, is close throttle, it'll be holding on to the cable. When he goes full throttle, just like that. Oh, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> the server's gonna pull back the pin and the cable's gonna release. Now there's something really cool we're gonna also be able to try. We have an FT Aura 5 in it, and that's how this whole system is able to work with our FPV chair. But also, we can do something called launch assist. And what launch assist is gonna do is basically keep the wings level. It's gonna use about 11 degrees of up elevator to keep it always else in a high toe. Okay. So whether Stefan is a master pilot or a beginner pilot, he'll be able to basically let the plane just trail behind him. And for someone who's brand new into the hobby, this is gonna be That's fantastic. Perfect. Yeah. perfect. So to go into this launch assist mode, all Stefan's gonna need to do is go back into the left, hold it there for about five, six seconds. There it is. It's now on launch assist. The second he releases the cable, it'll take that throttle input, it'll give him back full control, and you're golden. And the cool thing is, as long as you don't touch that, you can still make flight inputs into this. Really? It's the second that you give it throttle. Once I do this, and, and, I and release. And now move your stick. Boom. Hey! So you have everything back to go. No, I'm, dude, that's awesome. I'm stoked. This is gonna be, this is gonna be sick. It's gonna be good. Steph, it's first time doing a glider tow in an FPV chair with goggles on. It's gonna be epic. So now we just gotta pack this stuff up, put it in the truck, and uh, go fly. We're ready to fly. Let's do it. Oh, thanks, big guy. All right, let's go ahead and get you all fitted here. You gotta lower this down. Get, <laughs> get your feet on the rudder pedals. You mean uh, lower this down so that I don't look like a baby child? All right. <laughs> 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 Look at the amount of deflection I have. That's just sick. So that's that's kind of where we want you to be there. All right, so here's the good thing is version two of our faithful FPV chair. This will probably be the last time you see it. We're not going to take it apart, right. but we are going to make a new version because my friend Stefan here can't reach the rudder pedals. <laughs> Apparently I had a very closed mind when I designed this thing. So it's okay. we're, we're going to build another version, but also we're going to have that episode and that version done by Flight Fest. And Flight Fest this year is July 15th through the 18th. If you haven't been there, it is an insane experience. Yeah, it is epic. Uh, it's unlike anything you've ever been to. It's one of the largest uh, electric flies in the world. The largest electric yeah. Yes, so yeah. make sure that you put on your calendar, come out, yeah. enjoy some time with the flight test community. And it's like a big family reunion every oh, year. Yeah. So it's epic. So please come on out and join us. It's going to be awesome. Absolutely. And this year specifically, since we weren't able to have it last year, we are going to make this better than ever. We're bringing back the workshops. We're bringing back an FPV chair that people will be able to try out. <laughs> We're bringing back people that can speak and teach. So you're not just coming out and flying, but you're coming out building, you're flying, you're learning new uh, skills. You're connecting with family and friends. It's special. So make sure you mark the calendars. Also check out flightfest.com for more information. We are only about a month away. So make sure you go there, check it out, and get your tickets now. That's all we got. No rudder for you. <laughs> no rudder for me. <laughs> I'm going to stand right behind you. Yes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off, and I'm just going to climb gently to the left. You shouldn't have to really control much okay. in theory. But if you do have to make any controls, as long as you haven't bumped this, you have complete, you have complete control. Okay. Got it. Got it. So, you know, just like a normal plane. I can't wait for you to try this out. It's gonna be sick, dude. I'm gonna take you up really high, too. Take me up to the heavens? Yeah. Please do. I am ready when you tell me when you're ready. You ready? Head. I think we're ready, man. All right. All right, guys, I'm going under the hood. Going in hot. <laughs> Getting ready, just wear my throttle. There it is, okay. Got this, all right. I am ready to go, Jay Bix on the sticks. Family fair, okay, ready to go. Woo. Michael chasing, no filming. You guys ready? Michael, you ready? I'm rolling. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's sick. My I can see you the whole choice. time. Dude, I look over all of the things. My placement of the tow line needs help. But we did it. I am I'm above you. You are. That's high toe. <laughs> Woo, that scared me. Where are you? I don't even see you. I'm, I'm, oh, there you are. How is it, bud? 
Dude, he just looks amazing. The <laughs> fact, I can see from miles. I mean, I'm probably not looking in the right direction, but still, this is amazing. This is so cool. This All right, sick. we'll figure out the placement of it. I think we're gonna have a little jerk in a second because I think you're catching up with me. I'm not climbing up enough. Okay, yeah, there you are. There I am. Dude, this, I can see everything in the world. We're gonna take you up as close to 400 feet as oh possible. Oh my here. gosh, this is unbelievable. I, and I'm moving my head with the way you're, you're like the way you go you're, left you're, or right. Isn't it immersive? Oh, Whoa, it's, okay. I think we need to wear release. I'm at. I'm up. You did it. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is sick. You're on your own, buddy. Oh, oh look. Where, where, oh, there's the there's your quad. Oh, there's the there's the runway. <laughs> there I I see it. All right, now remember you don't have any motor, and now you're pretty much going into the wind. So what you need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and land here. I need to dive. You need to just make sure you keep heading towards us, okay? Okay, got it. Oh my gosh, I'm I've okay. Here's the thing. Oh, I no. feel like I'm not moving. All right, where are you even? I am too. Okay, so I'm Holy literally. Cow, you are up there. I am in line. <laughs> I am in line with the. Uh, the pavilion tent up yes, there. Yes, you are. And I'm trying you're just, to. You're not going down. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. No, that's fine. Just stay up okay. there. That's a part of being a glider. Oh, this is sick, dude. Oh my gosh. Look I at think you're just gonna make the runway. I don't know. I feel like I'm not moving. Yeah. Oh, look, there's the quad. How do you like flying it with the with the FEV chair? Oh, this is so sick. Isn't dude. it immersive? I feel like I'm in an airplane. All right, now you can hook a little bit to your left. A little to the left. Yep. And then there you go. Hold that heading right there. Yeah. Go straight. <laughs> Oh, it's <laughs> just so slow, huh? Oh, oh my god. Isn't goodness. that sky to your left magnificent? Okay, oh, that... a little bit to the right now. Let's get over those trees. This is amazing. All right, you see the runway, right? Oh, I see the runway, dude. All right, oh. let's see how close you can get to the runway. And don't try to, whatever you do when you fly a glider, don't try to milk it, okay? Because that, that's when bad things happen. Just keep it in that glide slope. You are doing fantastic. Oh my gosh, what is going on? There you go. Oh my gosh. Fleet off your speed. Oh, oh yes! yes! I'm <laughs> in the ground! Let's go, oh dude! My gosh. First FTG oh. chair, first glider tuck. <laughs> there, where am I? You're over where? there. Oh, I'm over there. I don't yeah. even know where I'm at. This is All crazy. Right. You saved my bacon because <laughs> there was a point where I got slack and I was this way. I couldn't recover and I was going to fall right back into you. <laughs> I was like, pull it up. You just flapped that forward and what? it was like, yes, gone. Dude. dude, it was sick because right when I disconnected, it was like, Shoo, and I leveled out. Yes. And I saw, I literally saw for miles. Like I can see, I don't know what's over there, but it was beautiful. It is beautiful. The valley's over phenomenal, there. Phenomenal, dude. It was phenomenal, dude. Oh this was God. awesome. I, I have a whole new respect for another round of flying. Like, it's amazing. It changes the whole experience. It's awesome. It it's really so does. Cool, and you did the first glider from glider toe from an FPV chair, I think, ever. And you rocked it. Let's go. Awesome. I'm living the dream. Friends, thanks so much for being part of the Flight Test family. This is just the beginning of this journey here. The Waco GL4 and the C47 have so much history. Our next step here is, of course, we're going big. <laughs> we're right. going to be blowing those suckers up. We're going to be trying out different missions and different challenges that they did in the past. This plane was a troop, troop dropper. It pulled gliders. It did so many cool things. Right. We're going to be living through all that for the next month. And at the end of this series, these planes are going to be available for you to build with your friends and family. Stefan, dude. Thanks, Jay Banks. That was awesome, awesome, dude. See you next time. See you next time. Hey Kim, so we got a small man in a big chair. Hey Kim, hey Kim, hey Kim is <laughs> the ones on the